It's me, Mr. Arzard, and I'm back um, for our first playoff match. Maybe our last, if we don't win. Um, we'll see. We are playing Kerfungal, and I'm extremely nervous. Uh, Kerfungal always seems to find a way to beat me in every draft league I ever participate with him. Uh, so, I'm a little nervous about this matchup. Also, his team matches up really well against mine. My scrimmages did not go well. Um, yeah, and sorry about not posting a video last week. Uh, I realized after going back and watching that I didn't talk like at all. And it was really weird. So I just didn't post it. Which is unfortunate because I had a really good week last week. I swept with Battery Cell Dragapult, which I would have loved to show off. Um, but I... Not to happen. Oh, I'm so nervous. I feel sick. I'm so nervous. I feel sick. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. My, again, my, my, uh, my scrims did not go well for this match. It went very poorly, in fact. Um, I lost all but one, and I, I did almost 10 scrim matches with a couple different scrim partners, uh, and I think, I think I only won one of those matches, so it, I don't feel great about this, I don't feel confident. Uh, I feel that this is the team, if there's a team that's going to do it, this is the team. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is about what I expected. Uh, does Sclops instead of Machamp is actually kind of surprising, but Crocodile can break that. Probat's kind of an issue for me, but not too much of an issue. It still looks like Kabutops is a good win on here if we can get rid of Ferrothorn. It's a big if, right? But we can do it. I usually put stuff. Okay, there we go. Now that something's on the screen, we can pick a, a lead. And we can start the match. Alright, so he goes right into Dunfin. So, there's a couple things about this, right? He wants to set up Stealth Rocks. Um, he wants to set up Stealth Rocks. I can go into... Well, this thing is sturdy, right? So, going into... Dragapult is never a good play, but Polyrath or Kabutops could be interesting here, because he's definitely going to set up rocks. Actually, Polyrath here is super interesting. What if I just go Polyrath right off the bat, let him set up his rocks, and belly drum in his face? Is there any downside to that? Let's see one. Okay, so he goes into Crobat. We obviously don't like that. Uh, Kabutox can switch into this. This thing can also have Giga Drain, though. 
and Soma does not want to switch into a Giga Drain. I almost want to go into Moltres here just to scope out what he plans on doing. Crookdale could also be decent. Going Soma here into a Giga Drain would be terrible. Especially because Soma's like a win con for me. Moltres isn't so much of a win con, but it does apply a lot of pressure. Alright, so right into the Brave Bird. Uh, honestly, like, that could have definitely been worse. Um, another Brave Bird hurts, but I don't think, I don't think we die. I think we could roost it off and let him continue to chip himself. Maybe we get a burn. Oh, roost. No roost for me. Alright, we'll go Brave Bird again. Kabutops applies a ton of pressure to, like, a ton of pressure. Okay. God damn it, Ferrothorn is such a problem for my team. Flame body? Nice. That flame body is real nice. Now I can roost. Honestly, like I can be fogged. Getting the flame body burn on Pharaoh is really nice. Alright, uh, how much does Hurricane do the Sclops? Trick Room. Wow, Trick Room is definitely not something I was expecting. This is what he fucked me up with last time with this best box. I don't kill from this range. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I definitely don't kill from this range. Put another one into an overheat could work. Is this belly drum Zard? I should be slower than you. Oh, and the immune switch in. Oh god, we're looking real good here. We are looking extremely good right now. I almost want to bulk up in his face. Does knockoff kill from here? I mean, he doesn't have a held item, but it, I mean, it, it should definitely kill, right? Like, there's no way it doesn't kill. No, it definitely kills. This is a free knockoff. Charizard's gone. Just like that, Zard is gone. 
Bringing Trick Room for Mega Charizard X is a super interesting, de super interesting decision. Lupin looking good, picking up the the biggest kill, the biggest kill early on. Now we need to get rid of Prim. We need to get rid of Prim. Uh, Prim is still a big, big, uh, scary, scary thing for me. You're gonna try and Willow West, right? I'm gonna overheat, he's gonna go Prim. Uh, so do I just Hurricane? No, we're clicking Overheat. We haven't shown Overheat yet. Boom, Crobat, gone. <sighs> All right. Hey. Not bad, not bad. We haven't, we haven't, we haven't won anything yet, but we are looking okay. We are looking okay. I wonder if I can Parish Trap this thing. Yes. Yes, we can. And so we shall. This thing underspeeds us. Um, so we need to be smart about this. We need to rest on this turn. pieces out on this turn. Um, so I think we go back into Moltres. Alright, Dusclap's gone. So far our ridiculous amounts of prep seem to be paying off. The problem now is we gotta figure out how we're gonna deal with this Primarina in the rain, right? Like, we're gonna start sacrificing. Because the Primarina wishes to cause harm. Moonblast. That's a good read. Let's see if it's back. Actually, that was a crit. That's not crit damage. That is definitely not crit damage. We need to preserve you. You're setting our reign. Who is our least important win con right now? Lupin. We don't need Lupin anymore. We don't need Lupin anymore. We're gonna lose Lupin. That's fine. Lupin is no longer a win con. We are legit out here just trying to stall this thing out. Back into Moltres. Hopefully he clicks uh, Moonblaster Energy Ball again. Okay, now we can hurricane here for pretty good damage. We probably want to scald. We don't need no touchy to break anymore because we can break arrow with polytoad. So do we just? I think we just go for chip with hurricane. That's really good chip. Oh, that can. Oh, you know what? I might just go into Pult here and just oh, Hurricane to 54. What kind of set is this? Hurricane to 54 means. 
What if that was a high roll? Let's say worst case scenario that was a high roll. Drag the pole, kill in this range with thunder. Oh, it absolutely does. We go polyrath now. Oh shit. Oh, that might have been a misplay because we haven't broken Pharaoh yet. Actually, nah, we should be okay. We should be okay. We should be okay. How much is Flip? I mean, Flip Turn's gonna do huge damage to. I think stacking. We didn't have any other sacrifices we could make safely. Can Pole still beat Pharaoh? Ferrothorn is burned. I think we're in range for two Shadow Balls to kill this. Thing. We're in range. We're in range for two Shadow Balls to kill this. Thing. So. Not like that, though. God, this Ferrothorn is so dumb. I should have brought fire coverage, and I did not. The Dunfin swap makes sense. And this thing has Ice Shard for sure, so I gotta swap out. I don't need this anymore. You missed. Whirlpool missing kind of sucks. Okay, there's no way he lives this thing out in front of flip turn. I mean, flip turn kills. He could go back. Well, yeah, we'll just go to flip turn. Because even if he goes back into Pharaoh, he takes chip and I go. Yeah, and I go clean into. Dragapult, and that should be. The ball just off. Let me tell you, I have been stressing about this. I didn't stream yesterday. I took off streaming yesterday because I didn't know how I was going to beat this team because I just couldn't come up with a composition that could consistently perform well. This was the best team I could come up with. And even then, I only won one match with it in, in scrims. Things went about as well as they could have for me. I definitely had some help. We had some good RNG. We hit our hurricanes. We got a flame body pop. If we don't get that flame body on Pharaoh, it 
If I don't get that flame body burn on Pharaoh, I win. Because Pharaoh does more damage to uh, Pult and pressures me. So, it's... It is what it is. I am not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, I am going to accept this win. I prepped, okay? I put in the effort. I, I, deserved, I deserved to win this just based off of my prep and work alone, I think. Um, this was the best team I could bring for it. I, I did make some... I, I don't know. What do I sack against the Dunfin, though? Like, I know Playrough kills Polyrath, but who else do I sack there? I needed Polyrath to break Pharaoh, because... Polyrath definitely breaks Pharaoh. Maybe I sack Kabutops instead. Yeah, I guess the sack is Kabutops instead of Pharaoh Thorn. Because Polyrath comes in and can Polyrath can kill Dawnfan and Um and Pharaoh Thorn if it gets in clean. So yeah, I definitely sacked the wrong Pokemon. That was a bit of a misplay, but it didn't cost us the match. We survive, we live another day, and I think I think we uh I think we need to start prepping for our next matchup because now we have God Bear. Now we have God Bear. Who is on an absolute tear. Uh, we did beat him in regular season, but he, he's turned over a new leaf. He's, he's prepping extra hard now. So next week we'll have our match against God Bear. We'll see if we can keep our playoff run alive. We will... Uh, We'll start prepping for that probably tonight. But I'll catch you guys next week. Have a good one.